What's good, YouTube? Flash Speaks back, man. Top of the morning. Got my yogurt. This yogurt right here, absolute fire. 25 grams of protein every morning. I knock down two of them. Give me 50 grams in the morning. Get me going. Bowl of oatmeal and a coffee. Straight black coffee with nothing in it. Come on, man. Pop two vitamin D3 pills. Because black people, you need your, need your vitamin D3 because we got this melanin. So it's harder for our skin to convert that, you know, into what we need. So you got to take your vitamin D3 pills, man. Keep you safe from COVID and all that BS that they be trying to perpetrate. But anyway, you know, I was just really thinking about, man, in my heart, about how difficult it must be for a Dallas Cowboy fan right now. Not only is your slot receiver, you know, overrated slot receiver wanting more money. Not only is your linebacker, where y'all got playing defensive end, wanting more money. Not only is your quarterback, who um, your regular season uh, all-pro quarterback, who can't do ish in the playoffs, wanting to be paid like he's Patrick Mahomes or somebody. Not only you got that going on, but you got to look at what's going on down there in Philadelphia, man, or up here in Philadelphia. We're set to make another run. I know you got to think about every week, Eagles winning, Eagles winning, Eagles. And I know y'all watch our games because part of your joy is to watch the Cowboys win, then to go over and watch the Eagles lose. I know, I know y'all. Your joy is this. The perfect Sunday for a Cowboys fan is a Cowboys win and an Eagles loss. When a situation happens where a Cowboys win and the Eagles win, y'all happy, but it's like 75% uh, happy or 60% happy. You're most happy when those two things happen. I know y'all. I've been dealing with y'all my whole life. I grew up with a mother that laughed when she saw Tony Dorsett get hurt in the game. I mean, it wasn't like a broken ankle or anything like that. He just got hurt, hit hard and got a little something poked in the eye or something. She, she was laughing at the time. I was confused. I'm like, I'm like a six year old. Why is my mother laughing at this? But this is my rearing. Never liked y'all from like, I mean, wow. From the earliest I can remember. It's in my blood that I don't like y'all. Cowboys. Cowboy fans. Now, the fans, I mean, you know, it's not personal. It's just a it's just competitive football thing, you know? Some of my friends are Cowboy fans. I ain't got to explain. This is going to be a rough year because Philadelphia Eagles are likely going to lose no less than three games. Unless a catastrophic injury or something happens and everything is off the table. But you got to really think about it. And while that's happening, I think you have an owner that's really in, I'm done with these niggas, in rebuild mode. I think he's looking at Dak and like, bro, I seen Troy Aikman. I seen a clutch quarterback. I seen a guy who knows how to get it done. Troy showed you it ain't about passing for 500 yards every game and five touchdowns every game and winning all pros and all of that. No. It's about situationally doing the right thing at the right time for the right moment towards the right end. And Troy Aikman is one of the best at that. He was. That's why he got three of them things. Three. Jerry knows what that looks like. He like, and I was paying this dude, what, $3 million, $4 million? I got to pay this knuckle, $60 million? And you know that Jerry is a billionaire, so he already mad at the fact. He feel like that got him the first time. That's the way he feels. This dude got me, man. Yeah, I'm going to let this dude get me again? 
So he's like, look, man, I done seen Green Bay let a legend go in Aaron Rodgers and put another board in there and beat me and beat this dude that I'm paying 40 some million dollars to. I didn't see the Philadelphia Eagles draft a quarterback in Carson Wentz the same year I drafted Dak. This is Jerry. Y'all got to understand. Eagles got to the Super Bowl that year. Partly with the help of the guy they drafted. And then the most clutch backup quarterback in the history. Besides maybe Jeff Hosteller. They the only two. Most clutchest backup quarterback in history. Go out there and win. And this fool, I'm still holding on to. I done seen the Eagles get rid of that whole situation, bring in another quarterback who went to the Super Bowl and performed magnificently. Now, before you say, well, y'all didn't win, well, the Cowboys would have loved to have had the year the Eagles had in 2022. What? I'm hearing Cowboy fans say they just want to get to the championship game and that'd be enough to keep that. I can't relate to that right now. Like, to me, you got to get the Super Bowl. That's it. That's it. But besides all that, y'all going to have a rough year, man. I'm going to have a rough year. Um, y'all got a slot receiver that wants to get paid like a number one. Damn. See, I told y'all. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all. Putting CD in the slot was good, a good strategy for y'all in the regular season because teams, for some reason, like to play a bunch of zone. There's few true lockup corners that can play both sides and the slot. So y'all was getting over on that. Like in the 90s, it wouldn't work. Like, Sir Tan Senior would be like, all right, no, I'll follow this nigga. Dion. When do I get into Dion? If you go back, Mike Haynes, the greatest cornerback of all time, would have been like, all right, we follow this ball. I don't care where he's going, what he doing, whatever. Rod Woodson, all right, I don't care where he's going, what he's doing, whatever. Charles Woodson. Right? But he's playing in a time where you have scary defensive coordinators who all playing pretty much the same style, all doing the same prevent defense at the end of a game because the Analytics tell them that more than likely you'll win, even though I keep seeing losses happen, but that's neither here nor there. So you got this slot cornerback right now who want to get paid Justin Jefferson money. He want to get paid A.J. Brown money for beating linebackers and safeties all year in third string corners. Damn. <laughs> See? That's what happens, man. You try to when you, when you do that. Y'all made it easy for him to thrive in the NFL. I see how y'all feel. That's that green tea right there. Flush you out. Keep you good. So y'all got problems. You got a slot receiver. That wants to get paid like a number one. You got a regular season quarterback that wants to get paid like a champion. And then y'all got a middle outside linebacker who wants to get paid like an elite defensive end. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Yo, we're going to kick y'all ass this year, man. I think we sweeping y'all, for real. And um, we're going to go win the Super Bowl this year. And I think y'all about to get ready for a rebuild. Yeah. I, that's just the way I see it. So, until um, next time, man. Peace out.